Hey baddies, it's your girl Natalie Odell. Welcome back to your favorite beauty channel on YouTube where we talk everything beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and most importantly, self-love. That's what we practice over here. That's what I preach over here. It's always a good vibe. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe, turn those post notifications on, and follow me on all of my social media platforms. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking to the baddies about my experience coming out of the closet. Um, and I just thought it would be so fitting if I actually organize my closet and get my life together while I do it. It's gonna be like a whole vibe, super aesthetically pleasing. You guys know I'm all about the aesthetic. And I'm also gonna be giving the baddies a little bit of advice because a lot of people ask me about my experience and especially if you guys are going through similar experiences, you guys want some advice on it. So if I can be completely honest with my baddies, I realized lately that I have not been prioritized myself nowhere near enough so that's what I'm gonna be doing today and I'm gonna be encouraging my baddies to do the same thing whether it's clearing out some clutter in your life or people okay because sometimes that's a necessity too or just taking the time to read a good book and I've actually been doing that a lot on audible lately and it has been amazing and so soothing so for those of you that don't know what audible is it's the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and you can find a huge selection of audio titles on guided fitness, guided meditation, your favorite shows, theatrical performances, podcasts, and then obviously really amazing audiobooks. So right now I'm reading Dying to Be Me. It's by Anita Morjani. And it's honestly about this amazing story, um, this lady who actually died and came back to life and through the process learned some very fundamental things um, about life. And it, it's honestly helps me to think deeper and feel a little bit more aligned with like my spiritual journey that I'm on. And it's really cool because when I signed up, I actually got access to their popular plus catalog and that's where I and that's where I can listen to thousands and thousands of their audibles ad free and with no credits and on top of all of this I get one credit a month to choose from their premium selection which has best sellers and new releases and all of that it's so cool so if you guys want to try a 30-day free trial of audible with me all you have to do is go to audible.com slash Natalie Odell or you can just text Natalie Odell to 500 500 and the link will also be in the description okay baddies and zaddies let's get started I'm really excited about this video I don't know if it's just me or if you guys feel this way too comment below I feel like it's so satisfying to watch other people clean because like you don't have to do the work but you get to see it like come together and especially because we're gonna be organizing and having some girls time tea time okay so <laughs> If you guys actually like anything that you see in my closet, I'm gonna be showing you guys some pieces that I'm selling directly from my closet on Depop. So if you like anything, click the link in my description, go and buy it right now before somebody else does. Um, but yeah, I actually asked you guys this a while ago, did you want me to sell stuff from my closet? And you said, yeah, so we're doing it. Let's do it, okay? Okay, baddies, here is my closet. Um, some of you probably have seen it before. I mean, I have a ton of stuff in here, like as you can see. A lot of these clothes I don't even wear and I'm running out of space so that's why you see like random piles of clothes um, some a lot of these shoes I don't even wear and I have these bins that are taking up way too much space and I honestly feel like I can organize all of this a lot better um, get a lot more use out of this space because I mean look this is a big closet like big enough to have my dresser in there I just have like random bags so it's a mess it's a freaking mess in here like I mean maybe not to some people but I feel like being that this is a walk-in closet it should just feel more like a walk-in not so cramped so we are going to be going through the stuff today and I bought some like organization things that's gonna help me I think clear up some space and I hope this comes out as good as I'm imagining it. So baddies let's get into the topic of discussion coming out of the closet. Oh my gosh okay so technically I have been quote unquote out of the closet for about seven months now, I think. I know y'all are gonna correct me if I'm wrong below. <laughs> 
But it was a really interesting experience because I didn't even know I was in the closet, you know? So for those of you that don't know my story, I was straight my entire life. And for the past seven months, I've been in a relationship with my best friend of five years. Actually, we just celebrated our BFF anniversary. A lot of you guys probably saw the whole story because it was on Easy X Natalie and it was an entire series. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. But basically, my best friend admitted her love for me and I had to choose up. I had to either decide I'm going to let the opportunity pass me by and she could possibly fall in love with somebody else or I have to give it a try. And I'm the type of person who really lives by the motto YOLO okay you only live once so you better make sure you have good stories to tell honestly you guys ask me a lot how has the experience been so far for me and it changes from day to day. I mean, overall, obviously, the experience has been great, but I do feel like I'm relearning completely like what it is to be in a relationship because the dynamic of two women being together is completely different than me dating men in the past. There's literally so many differences i mean if we're talking about physical differences we're talking about um, mental emotional differences spiritual differences the connection is just completely different and you know like i said for the most part it's good but there are some pros and cons for sure <laughs> But honestly, you're gonna find that with any relationship. And that's the thing, like a lot of the quote unquote issues that I find dating somebody of the same sex, I'm gonna have other types of issues in a opposite sex relationship as well. So it's just, honestly, relationships are relationships. So I try to stop looking at the relationship like, oh, this is the problem because I'm dating a woman and just look at it as this is a problem in this specific relationship with this specific person. Oh, baddies, real quick intermission. <laughs> I do not want to give up this leather jacket. It's from Zara. It's so fire. But to be honest, I've had it for a little while and it was when I was a small in size. And I think I need a medium now. I remember even when I bought it, it was like too tight on my arms, but I loved it so much that I was like, whatever. But now it's like way too tight on my arms. So I'm... <laughs> Somebody's gonna be really lucky to get this leather jacket. It's gonna be on my deep box. Okay, guys, I'm starving. I'm an hour into the project. I know it doesn't look too different, <laughs> but luckily you don't have to watch the entire hour, okay? Right now I'm gonna go through some of my shoes that I'm gonna be selling. None of these things, well, some of them actually are in perfect condition because I've never worn them. Some are not, but these super cute shoes. I'm gonna go ahead and sell these. Oh my god. I kind of talked about this before, um, but not on here. So the pros and cons of like being with a woman, first of all, obviously there's a lot more pros for me than cons, or I wouldn't be where I'm at right now, where I'm actually in a full-blown relationship. But let's go down them, okay? Here are the pros. The pros of being with a woman is first of all, emotionally it's completely different than anything else i've experienced um of course i've been with you know a few different guys i haven't had tons of relationships or anything like that but um i even when i thought i was in some of the most like loving relationships in the past they do not compare to the way that being with a woman especially easy she's so loving it just does not compare um to the way that she loves me you know um that emotional just nurturing energy that you get from being with a woman and comment below if you've ever dated a girl or if you're in a current relationship with a girl like let me know if you see how that can be you know um I feel like guys just naturally, 
naturally are just not as nurturing. They're just not as loving. Um, not to say guys aren't loving for any guys that are watching or anyone that's dating a guy. It's not, I know that guys are still loving and stuff, but there's just certain things where I know when I've dated guys in the past where it was just like, oh my God, why do you not like want to be up under me? Like I want to be up under you. Why do you not like, it, I was always used to being the very sensitive one in the relationship. And now there's two of us and that can either be a good thing or a bad thing. So emotionally it's a positive thing, but man. When it comes to, here's, here's where the cons come in, okay? Here's the cons of dating a woman is we are both emotional. It's so crazy how it can, it's a double-edged sword where one minute it's like, oh my God, I freaking love this. And the next minute it's like, what the heck? I'm like banging my head off the wall. Like when it comes to, you know, communication, these are so cute. When it comes to communication, it can be like really hard because it's like, you know, we're both emotional. And before I was used to being the only emotional one. Like I was used to it just being like, I mean, you know, if I'm gonna be a brat, I'm gonna be a brat and you gotta deal with it. But no, now it's like we both have our bratty moments. So it's like teaching me a lot of patience where I didn't know I even had to learn patience in that specific way. Oh, baddies, before I forget, I'm also going to sell this. If you guys don't know what this is, this was the amazing package that I got from Cardi B. Um, I love it, it's so dope. It's like a really cool storage thing. It says Reebok times Cardi B. This is from her collection. It's also a speaker and you can open it up. It's so dope, like this would be a really cool staple piece to anyone's room. And it actually talks, I think I have to plug it in. Her tongue comes out. This is so dope, like I would love to have it on display like this in my room, I just don't have any space. And then you have storage underneath. I'll actually be selling um, some of my Reebok sneakers, brand new ones as well, because I have a ton from the collaboration. And just so you guys know, this right here, nobody has this except for a handful of influencers, okay? This is not something you could buy in the store. This was a gift to influencers who worked directly with Cardi B and Reebok. So this is like a collector's item. So if you guys are interested in this, you guys can head over to my Depop and grab this. Like I said, this is like a collector's item. I just don't have any space for it. And I'm actually gonna sell Easy's for her too because neither of us have the space. We love it. Um, but we don't have the space for the actual box. So head over there. Honestly, I think one of the most valuable things though that I've learned from this experience of dating a woman is love is love. You know, it doesn't matter the gender. It doesn't matter if this is even somebody that you could have seen yourself with. Cause y'all, this is completely different than the way I saw my future going. Like ever since I was a little girl, I had this knight in shining armor image and I would never have known that underneath all that armor, it was a woman. Oh, baddies. My Valentino purse needs a new home. Oh my God, first of all, my sister is gonna kill me because <laughs> my baby sister, Justina, bought me this purse. Uh, I just don't get enough use out of it and it's so bomb. If you guys don't know about Valentino bags, these are expensive, high quality bags. They're leather um, and a suede. It has so much space in there. Um, it's an awesome bag and it's such a great like staple piece. Um, but, you know, I don't use it as much as I should. So I think that it needs, you know, a better home, somebody who will wear it more. Um, but yeah, so this will be in my Depop. <laughs> you know, and it's so crazy how you have to experience something to actually have the capacity to understand it. I always looked at myself as a pretty 
compassionate and understanding person but this experience made me realize that I was nowhere near as understanding and compassionate as I thought I was and that is something that I truly honor that I've learned in this experience I never understood you know same-sex relationships the way that I do now I felt so separate from the lifestyle that honestly I didn't give it much thought at all and when I did I honestly was confused I didn't really understand it and I think it was mainly because I didn't have any type of attraction for a woman and at that point, I didn't understand how could I ever fall in love with somebody that I have zero attraction for? How could a woman fulfill certain needs that a man was fulfilling for me? I think the most important thing that I learned is love has no boundaries. And sometimes love can exist without attraction. And that was honestly the case for Easy and I. I wasn't attracted to her for 90% of the time that I've known her. The thing that happened was love came first and attraction came later. I'm honestly so grateful to have the experience of love without boundaries. I feel like no matter what happens in the end, I would never regret this relationship because I've grown so much through it. I'm more of a compassionate person because of it. I have understandings that only walking in certain shoes could bring you you know when it comes to being in a same-sex relationship or following your heart there is no right or wrong decision there's no right or wrong answer there's no way that i could ever tell you oh you should or shouldn't do this i think the most important thing is being in tune with yourself and following your intuition for me it worked out great because that's what I did. You know, I followed my intuition, I followed my heart, and I think the type of person that I am, as long as my heart is happy, I'm going to be happy. Everything else falls in line. I honestly feel like the best experience that we can have in this lifetime is love. You know, that's the only advice that I can give you is seek love in everything that you do. Love others with all that you have and accept love as well. So if that means being with your best friend, if that means being with somebody who's older than you, or if that means being alone, do that. Okay, baddies, I'm finally finished. This literally took me like 15 hours to do. I don't know why I'm smiling. It's like, you know when it's like, if you don't smile or laugh, you just cry. I'm exhausted, literally, mentally, physically, emotionally exhausted, but I loved how it turned out. So here it is. Technically, it's not gone yet, but it is up on my Depop. So if you guys want to shop that stuff, you can help me get it out of my hallway, okay? <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I tried to color coordinate like the rainbow, my clothes. So it goes like white and then browns and then green and orange and all of that. I don't know if it's like super noticeable, but I tried, okay? And then I'm obsessed with my shoes. I feel like putting them on display like this, I'm, I can see them better. I'll be able to wear them more and I feel like having the open faced like shelves right here helps to open up the space so much more like look it just kind of looks like it's a bigger closet now I think at least and then of course you know I had to add my little decor pieces just to make it a little cute but yeah guys I hope that you really enjoyed watching me declutter my space as we chit chat a little bit I felt like I was decluttering my mind at the same
same time. You know, that's the vibe over here. I just love like talking to you guys. And I know this video is a little bit different than what I usually would do, but I hope you guys liked it. Comment below if you did. Let me know what you guys thought and head over to my Depop if you guys wanna shop some of the stuff that you saw. Plus there's a lot that I didn't record that's on there too. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool that I can have my baddies actually rocking my stuff that I have worn. So yeah, okay. See you guys in the next video.